Hi. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create an Android project from scratch using the command line and then signing it for release to the App Store. It's quite a simple process if using the command line. I'm going to be using it from Ubuntu, uh, which is Linux, but you're free to use it from Mac or Windows as long as you have the Android SDK already installed on your machine. So with it already installed and configured, let's go ahead and start to use it. So let's create the project first on our desktop. So by setting a target of 14, this means that I'm going to be uh, building it for Android 4.0, which is Ice Cream Sandwich. We're going to go ahead and give it a name. I'm going to call it Example Project. We're going to define a path, which I'm going to use a period and then um, which, to, which means our current working directory and then I'm going to give it a name as well. I'm going to just call it example project again. For our default activity, I'm going to go ahead and call it example activity. And then last but not least for our package name, I'm going to call it com.enderboy.example project. The package name is actually probably the most important part of this because you have to make sure that A, the package isn't already taken in the App Store, which is why I include my, my uh, first initial last name, and you have to format it correctly. It has to begin with com, and uh, it has to have some periods in there. So after I've got all this typed in, let's go ahead and run it. Alright, so you can see that it's pretty quick and it should have created it right on my desktop and it looks like it did. So just like that you have a template project to run. So let's go ahead and run it on our device and see what that looks like. Let's navigate into the project and run ant debug because we're going to be building a debug build. So it looks like it was successful, so let's go ahead and install it. You can see that we used the debug build that we just built to install on our simulator. And I'm actually using Genymotion, which isn't the stock Android simulator. I, I don't like using the stock Android simulator because it's very slow, takes up a lot of resources. Genymotion just uses VirtualBox and is, is lightning quick. So you can see our new, new Android app is right here. Let's go ahead and open it. It's very simple, just hello world. So if we tried to submit this to the App Store, it wouldn't submit because it, it's a debug build. It hasn't been signed with a certificate. So let's go ahead and work to create a certificate that we can use in the App Store. So again from the command line, let's run this. So what we're doing is we're using the key tool to generate a key store. Our key store, for example, is just called example.keystore. It's going to use the RSA algorithm with a key size of 2048. It's going to have a validity of 10,000 uh, days, which is quite a long time. After, you, you want to use a large number because if you use a small one and your, valid, your key store expires, you're no longer going to be able to make updates to your app. So don't let your key store expire. So after we choose a validity of 10,000 days, we're going to choose an alias. We're just going to call it example, very simple. And let's go ahead and run it. It's going to ask us to create a, a password for our key store. It's got to be six characters long. So let's go ahead for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to use A, B, C, one, two, three. It's going to have you confirm it. And then it's going to start asking you a series of questions. You don't have to fill all of these in, but it's probably a good idea that you do, just in case you need to verify that you are the owner and this isn't some kind of malware. 
So let's go ahead and include your first and last name. The organizational unit, if you don't have one, you can either make one up or leave it as unknown. I'm just going to say uh, app development. The name of my organization, I'm just going to use my name. The city, Merced, California, and that's in the United States. We're going to verify that everything looks correct, and it does, so we're going to type yes. And then it's going to ask you a uh, for another password. For this purpose, I'm just going to use the same one as my key store. So just hit enter and it will be the same. So now that went ahead and created the key store at the root of your project, which is good. That's what we want. So that's not, that's not where it ends. We actually now need to tell our app to use this key store when we make a release build. So open up the ant properties file in your favorite text editor. And at the bottom, we're going to add these lines. So again, I, I just used example that key store and example as my alias, but you, you use whatever you named yours to be, um, and, and that'll be fine. So go ahead and save this file. And with that said and done, we're going to build our project for release. So instead of ant debug, we're going to do ant release. Now, when we use ant release, it's going to ask us for our key store password and our alias password. So let's go ahead and type in what we entered. I used ABC123. And then my alias password is the same as my key store password. So I'm going to go ahead and use ABC123. And just like that, the build is successful. So let's go ahead and try to install it on our device. Oops. This time instead of Android debug, we're going to use Android release. And you can see that it failed to install. So why did it fail to install? It failed to install because we currently have a debug build on our uh, simulator or device which has a different certificate from our release certificate that we just created from the key store. So in order to, to test the production build on our simulator, we first need to remove uh, the debug version. So with that removed, let's go ahead and run that command again. And as you can see, it was a success. And when we run it, it's exactly the same. And just like that, you now have a version that you can submit to Google Play. This is the one that you want. It's already been signed. It's been zip aligned. Everything's ready to go. You just need to create your App Store listing and upload it. And as simple as that is, um, you're good to go. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Um, there's gonna, I'm going to release a lot more videos that are going to be helpful. If you want to see a written version of this tutorial, you can find it on my web blog. The link is going to be included in the description of this video. Um, I hope that you enjoy. Thank you.